Boss, just a point for us in the end today. What was your assessment of the game? Well, in the end, uh, when you concede more or less than last situation, last minute, just a few seconds uh, to go, uh, disappointing um, goal in order and you just draw a home game, and of course, you're yeah, disappointed in this moment. You you want to die and want to kill, and there's no doubt about this emotions. But all in all, I have to say, I can't complain uh, too much uh, because what the lads are doing at the moment under this circumstances is, is uh, fantastic. And uh, 10 games, a beaten run. I think our game today was uh, regarding our situation with so many um, injured players and players out. Um, it was difficult. I think we played under this circumstance really good the first half could perhaps just criticize that the game was not buried at half time because it's not like we just scored the goal with a penalty Mario Francic but with also another penalty situation with Mario Francic I think it was a penalty if you watch the situation back but we had also situations Marco Stieperman one against one on the goalkeeper Josh Martin yeah free shot out of out of 10 yards uh, Marco Stieperman another good shooting position um, could have scored even at least a second goal so that the game was was already buried in the second half, yeah, of course, Coventry is a good side. They were here with a good performance and they proved that they are uh, a proper team and there's uh, no coincidence where they were able to, to get four points out of the last two games and the last game a clean sheet win against a really good side like uh, like Cardiff. Um, I was pleased with our with our game management because uh, we didn't allow them to have any chances. We dominated still for the, for the own possession. Um, can't remember really one um, save that Michael McGowan had to do, so we didn't allow any chances. We dealt with all their uh, set pieces. The only topic was we were struggling a bit. Yeah, to create even a few more chances to score the second goal. Yeah, it was also due to to uh, our injury situation. If I'm if I'm honest, because up front we played today also with some players a bit out of their position. We had to had to do this, um, but we defended everything quite experienced and quite well, apart from the situation uh, in the last moment and. Um, this is the only situation I could criticize a bit. Uh, our positioning, uh, in order to do, avoid this switch of the play, was was not perfect. We could have invested a bit more to uh, to avoid the switch of the play. Then our positioning on the wing was not perfect against uh, then yeah the guy who crossed the ball in and uh, just ten minutes or five minutes before we substitute to um, five. 5-3-2 in order to be always in overload against their two strikers at, at this moment two strikers in and we didn't invest enough to, to, to drop in order to defend our goal and for that we were not in overload like it was planned we were just man, man against man and yeah they were able to, to have the first touch uh, each time so we could have invested in this situation a bit more and then it was also a bit unlucky because actually the situation would have been offside but because Max was still lying injured on the on the on the on the on the baseline uh, at least that's what the what the linesman said uh, for that they didn't give a give offside in this situation and um yeah we have to accept that this situation we could have uh, defended better but apart from this um, i can't complain too much and yeah we have to take the point today can you tell us how max is he was involved in that sort of nasty incident towards the end there no if i'm honest i'm also sick right now to to speak about injuries i don't want to speak about this anymore uh, at least it, it seems like it's nothing to do with the with the ankle so it's was, it seems like it was an unbelievable heavy contact against his uh, chin and it was pretty painful. He has problems right now to, to work. There's, um, it's pretty swollen. We have to wait the further assessment. It's, it's too early to judge. After a somewhat difficult start in that first half, we really sort of grew into it and forced that penalty with some good attacks, putting pressure on. Um, disappointing, of course, we didn't see out the second half and get the win, but it is 10 unbeaten, which is a good thing. Yes, like I mentioned before, so if someone would have told us uh, we start after the international break under this circumstances with so many injured players with seven points out of this uh, three games, I would have said, wow, that's a, that's a great outcome. There's no doubt about this. So um, the Lads are doing fantastic uh, at the moment. There was a chance to be even in a better position to sit uh, top of the table with, uh, with already a few points clear, but uh, in general, so it's it's not like um, yeah, season's always easy and you win the next 25 games and can celebrate only in February uh, anyhow with, with 100 points and still 10 games to go or something like this. So it never happens in, uh, in this way. And yeah, we are disappointed there because we were pretty close uh, to, to win this game and it was a bit unnecessary to concede this goal, but overall, you have to say. Yeah, when the lads and sometimes also are conceding under the circumstances, then it's also important not to lose a game. And uh, exactly like you mentioned, we are in a top position. Uh, we are ten games, uh, ten games unbeaten again under the circumstances. Lots of lots of spirit and togetherness today on the pitch. And right now, we hope we can recover a bit and have perhaps hopefully a few more options available for, and for the next games. 
um, would definitely uh, help us a little bit and improve our situation a little bit. But as long as we have these problems in terms of injured players, yeah, we have to dig in and grind results out, and that's what we're doing at the uh, at the moment, and we'll keep going uh, exactly in this way.